Hi everybody, I am Catherine, also known as Miss Blue, and welcome along to <clears throat> Looking Back. Now this is a very serious game. It's about a person who lost, or what, about a woman who lost their wife and their dark journey into the underworld trying to get her back. Yeah, it's this kind of game, but still. <clears throat> There's no save function from what I understand from the description, so this is going to be a lot, and this is going to be a straight playthrough, no breaks or anything like that, so settle in. This is going to be an emotional one. Right, let's click start. I didn't think it would happen so fast. One year. That's all it took. I never got to say goodbye. Ah. That's the... That's her wife there. <clears throat> oh, great. Yeah, bit major league... Uh, warnings here, this is going to get quite sad at some point, from what I've seen from other people playing this game. <clears throat> at the very least, right. Well, I guess we've laid our flowers so we should go. Or should we pick another one? No, maybe not, let's just move on. Oh, there's a trail of them, that's probably where we're supposed to go. Okay. Oh, it's just a pond of them here. We walk into it? Oh, we can't. Oh, jeez, we're sinking. Oh, whoops. This could be metaphorical here. I'm just guessing at this point, but... Sinking into, dep into depression. One year ago. The one year it took, apparently. Before it all ended. Left click to interact. Okay. Hmm. I can't believe it's been five years since we visited San Francisco. <coughs> I keep promising we'll go on another trip, but my tour schedule always gets in the way. Aaron looks so happy here. Aww. <laughs> tour schedule? Officially done moving in. Jesus, I'm tired. That's enough of lifting boxes for one lifetime. <laughs> but hey, this place is really starting to look like home. Yeah. Although most of the stuff is Aaron's. What's <laughs> Coin jar, what are you saving up if for? If we tuck away a little cash here and there, we can save up for an honest to god vacation. Hmm. Some place warm and sunny. Maybe Italy or Greece? Ooh, sounds awesome. The only good, nice places I've ever been to, I've been to Paris one time when I was like five or six or something like that, I can barely remember it. Anyway, yeah. Still, that's up. God, I miss home cooking Whoa. when I'm on the road. Erin <laughs> is a sorceress in the kitchen. Cool. It's been nice taking some time off with Erin between touring. I'll have to hit the road again soon, though. I'd take her along, but I don't think she'd like it. Touring isn't like travelling. <coughs> oh, so she's a guitarist. Okay, maybe she's part of a band or something like that. That's pretty cool. Cannot play an instrument to save my life. I did play a tin whistle when I was in Primer 7, though. I was pretty good at that, I must say so myself. You don't want a tin whistle. It's pretty much like the connecting part to a bagpipe, and that's it. Not like the full thing. You'd think Erin would have got enough of these things working at a plant nursery, <laughs> but she's turning our home into a greenhouse, too. She says being around nature is good for your health. The girl's got a green thumb, that's for sure. <laughs> She's named the fern, Jeremy. The f Aww, that's adorable. Kind of like my sister, she has loads of plants, but... I don't know if she's got quite to naming them just yet. Right, our bedroom. Yes, Erin, I finally got some new adult sheets for this new adult bed. Aww. I guess it was time to throw out my old tie-dye sheets from uni. Oh no, tie-dye sheets are the best! I have a bunch of... I have one of those at home. <clears throat> there we go. I can hear a very distinct creepiness in the, in the music slightly, but won't question it just I yet. I think it's a psychic. We've been through a lot together, right, buddy? Oh, <laughs> This girl kind of talks like me, it's so stupid. Just like, oh, everything's got a common. Oh, this is an extremely white bathroom, my goodness. Okay. I see, oh no. Oh, I'm not real, I'm a vampire. Ah, oh, still stupid me. Anyway, serious game, well, I suppose. As our fun while we can at this point because it's gonna get serious very soon. A lot of paintings around this house I've noticed as well. I'm not even hung up yet. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, rug. Erin insisted that we needed a cheerful rug. Hmm. You know, to tie the room together. Uh, I keep making that joke, but she's never seen the Big Lebowski. You've got to see it together sometime. Oh, you must! I actually had to study the Big Lebowski for university. 
Oh my god, it's, it's such a good film. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it right this second. Don't watch me, watch that. Watch a Coen Brothers classic over a stupid me playing a game of all things. Anyway, yeah. Oh, it even looks like the rug for the movie as well. I can't get over that. That's so cool. Alright then, uh, what else can we look at? Microwave, sink, uh, that, that thing. Can't remember what it's called. Hmm. I can't get over like the weird moaning that's in the background. Can you not hear it? Hmm, I just... Exit memory. Ah, okay. Ah... Acheron? I think? Well, don't call me that. I'm not great with the... What? Oh, these are all empty pot plants. And whispering. Always good. Olivia? Erin, are you alright? It's too late. You need to get out of here. No, oh. I'm not leaving without you. Erin? Erin, I'm coming for you. What is that? <laughs> is that a waterfall? Or is it like a, a geyser? A geyser. Oh, no, there's a waterfall. Well, only one way to do it. Leap into the ether. Never mind then, I thought I was going to splash more than that, but still. Hmm. We need to find Erin by the sounds of it and bring her back from death, is what the description said. Ah, there's our bed over there. Anything over there? I'll we'll check later. We sprint? No. Okay, well, it did say it was a walking simulator in its big, in its truest form, but still. Let's carry on. Oh, the carpet's everywhere. More whispering. Mm. I can't quite hear what they're saying, but I suppose it's <clears throat> intentional, so let's go down that way. And this game was made in Unity, by the way, just to so you know. Looks quite good for one. Like maybe like you can forgive the few bugs where they're like the waterfall coming out of nowhere, but it's a personal game, so you can't really go mental at it for that. There's our music stuff in our traveling pack. Hmm. Oh, so we have to go into the darkness. Seven months ago. <clears throat> okay, we're getting closer to the day. Oh. Oh, our flat's all done. Look at this. Our suitcase is over here, though. Let's... I'm home. Oh, okay. We just got back. Erin? Where is she? She knew I'd be back from touring today. Oh, kettle's boiled, though, so she must have... Can't be too far away. Let's see what kind of books we got. Herodotus. Must be a philosopher. Uh, Sappho? Ovid's... Uh... Can't quite read that one, but yeah. Hmm, looks very nice. Look quite homely. What was that noise? Oh, it must be raining outside, that's why. I'll save the kettle. Huh. Huh? Alright then. Well, we can make some tea or coffee or whatever. I don't drink tea that much either, but still. I know I'm a terrible British person, but any oh. Oh. oh God, Erin? Where are they? Oh. Erin, what happened? Are you okay? I'm okay. Jesus, there's blood everywhere. Let's find something nice to look at. Where are you? I'm at the hospital. Olivia, I need you to come here. What's going on? Are you hurt? I think we'd better talk in person. I'm on my way. I have a suspicion I know what that is, but I'm not sure. Okay. Let's get out. I, uh, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't bother attempting it either. So I'm guessing that Aaron fell ill for some reason. And it was a lot worse than. Oh, just the sound of your voice. Aaron, 
Where are you? Remember when we first started dating, when you used to play songs for me all the time? I'd come over and sit on the bed because you didn't have any chairs. You'd play guitar and sing for me. Look, Erin, tell me where you are. I'm going to get you out of here. You were so romantic back then. I miss the days when you would write songs for me. Erin, this really isn't the time. I need to find you. We never talked at the end. I just want to have a conversation. I'm literally going through hell for you, and you want to have a fucking chat about our courtship. Why won't you just talk to me? You never, you never communicate. All these years together, and I still don't understand how your mind works. I used to listen to you practice thinking, oh, that song sounds sad. Is, is she mad at me? You're reading too much into it. Or you'd play me something really beautiful, and I thought maybe that was your way of saying you loved me. I was, I was jealous of your guitar. You could go weeks without calling me, but when you were... You're making music, it was like you were speaking in another language. You just couldn't make sense of it. I don't want to talk about this right now. Why are you here, Olivia? What's this all for if you won't even show me some compassion? Am I just some empty goal for you to reach? Erin, we'll talk about this when I find you, but just... I'm doing my best here, okay? I don't need a guilt trip. Fine. So, uh... Okay, something's dysfunctional in this relationship, and we just jumped over a load of bloody pillows and sheets. <laughs> this is definitely not quite the game I was expecting. It's still good, but holy hell. And the bath is, the bath even is full of blood. Please don't tell me I have to jump in there. I do not want to do that. Uh, Oh god. Okay. Here goes nothing. Let me just drown down here. I suppose we'll just head to the plug and see. Ugh. Are we not supposed to come down? Oh dear, I think I just drowned. Oh, okay. Four months ago. <clears throat> Right, okay, jeez. All right, suitcase is still there, we haven't got, let's see. Everything's still the same. Oh, coin jar slightly empty. I guess Greece will have to wait. Oh, medical expenses, I imagine. That's why the jar is empty. So this isn't uh, set in any country that provides free healthcare and whatever. But that's not a thing we can get into. This isn't a political one, despite my last, my two episodes ago. Never mind. Books. How did we only catch this thing so late in its development? The doctors have been talking about a hysterectomy, but they're afraid the tumour has spread into the rest of her pelvis by now. I wish there was something I could do. I feel so useless. Hmm. So that's what it was. That explains all the blood and everything on the bed earlier. This is January now, because it was October before. Okay. Nice glow coming through the window with all the nice theremin music as well. It's always pleasant. I mean to wash the dishes, but Erin always gets them first. And then she complains that she has to do all the housework herself. If she just wait a little. It's a shame when they when couples fight. Not like I have any experience with that. I... I'm taking a break from touring for a few weeks, but the treatments don't pay for themselves. Honestly, this has been so much to process. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm a little grateful for the space when I'm on the road. Hmm. Jeez, that's gotta be hard. Try not you have to be away from the person you love so much just to pay for their expenses. I feel like I'm never even home long enough to get used to sleeping here. Mm. God, Erin hates this. She's no naturalist, but I know she really doesn't like the idea of pumping her body full of chemicals. What else can we do, though? Mm. There's a lot of them. I always feel strange playing these games. I have like no experience with like cancer or like a great illness like that. None of my family have ever got it. Like our hereditary thing means that we're probably that we're probably most likely to get any heart condition. We're never we're not cancer, but 
I mean, we're more like, I mean, we're like as likely to get it as anyone else. I mean, apparently, like, according to statistics, like, there's four women in my family, like, one of us is probably definitely gonna get cancer. Those are the hardest months of my life. Which is scary. I was in pain all the time. I was afraid I'd die any minute. I know, Aaron. But the hardest part was going through it alone. I was suffering, and you were never there. I wanted to be with you, really. Then why weren't you? You could have stopped the tour, easy. I didn't know how to help you. There was nothing I could do but sit around and feel anxious all the time. At least on the road, I felt like I was doing something useful. Besides, we needed the money. If it was about the money, we could have reached out to friends and family. I never asked you to do any of that. What did you with me? I'm sorry, okay? I just don't see how I could have made any difference if I'd been at home. Made any difference? It would have made all the difference in the world. I thought if these were my last few months, I, I want to spend them with you. It would have been such a comfort just to know that if I died, you wouldn't be somewhere halfway around the world. I worried about that every day. And still, you didn't, you didn't just come home? It was so hard seeing you getting sicker and sicker. I felt like my heart was being crushed to bits. I know it doesn't compare to what you were going through, but I was suffering too, watching you get worse. I miss the girl who was full of life. I wanted to remember you like that and coming to terms with the fact that I might never see that side of you again. I needed space to grieve. Olivia, it would have been easier to grieve together. <sighs> that deep stuff going on there. I was trying to find the right burning hell to walk through to make progress. There we go. Oy vey, man, oy vey. Yeah, I don't know if that last statistic I said is actually up to date or not, but that's what everyone was saying a while ago. These be pills. A lot of them. The cacophony of drugs that she had to take just to feel better. By the looks of it. And the plethora of pill bottles as well. Goodness me. Oh, can't go this way. Or right, just to find our way around. This game is very much an art game with... Ah, we have to get to that one. Oh, the music though! Really settling in the atmosphere here. Can't go this way either. Should I go... I'll try and bank around. Okay, nope. Okay. We'll go back to the other end and work our way around. Okay. This one. Oh my god, my actual head is starting to hurt now because of that music. Eesh. Okay, we made it to the middle. Is this the right one? Well, gonna assume so. Alan Z and all that. Yep, it's the right one. Two months ago. We're getting closer. Okay. Oh. Music's changed and the flat's a lot darker now. Suitcase is gone, we aren't back from touring. Erin? I thought she'd be home when I got back. The jar slightly empty as all. Well. Shot glass, is that, is that whiskey or something? Looks like it, or vodka maybe. Which isn't good for her. Oh, it's whiskey. What's this? What have you been up to? Oh boy, okay. Oh, the plants are dead. Cigarettes? No, you've got to be kidding me. What kind of idiot smokes around a cancer patient? I didn't think Aaron was even in contact with Aria anymore. Wait, does that mean she's in here? Oh, have you been talking to one another? What the fuck? Did you want me to see this, Aaron? Let's see, I'm trying to read this. I know, but that's hot. It's hard not to feel that way. She's never here anyway. Uh, I cannot read that. I, I'm assuming that it says that, uh, oh, okay. I think I can see just the bottom there. Like, I missed you too. So I'm assuming that this is a, probably a friend or past lover maybe that she's got in contact with since I've not been around that much because I'm trying to pay for her medical bills and things like that. 
But anyway, uh... That's not the point. Well, if they slept together, at least they had the decency to do it somewhere other than our goddamn bed. Jeez. What's that? This is Mart, so it's... yeah. Lots of chemo and surgeries. Well, I suppose it's time that we walked out. That is what indeed happened. Sticks. Oh, goodness me. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Right. Well, let's make our merry way down then. This is a far different game than what I thought it would be. I knew it would be artistic, but I didn't think it would be like this level of artistic, especially with all the blood stuff earlier. I mean, geez, that got to me a little bit. Oh, this must be the words from the laptop. A lot of misuse up there, that's what I saw at least. And static? Whoa, 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 okay. I can't move to the side. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we're ever so slowly losing our mind here. I'm sorry about Arya. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Well, you've really fucked that one up. I was lonely. We were drifting apart and I needed to be with someone. Why turn to Arya? Why not your friends or your parents? I may have been sick, but I was, I was still human, Olivia. I, I wanted... I needed to be touched and she was there when I asked her to be. Arya doesn't care about you. And you do? Fighting through the underworld for my sake? All this but you couldn't even be with me during the darkest time of my life? You think having cancer gives you the excuse to fuck around behind my back? Do you have any idea how this feels for me? To feel this betrayed yet to miss you more than anything? I know exactly how it feels. I can't warn you properly like this. I want to feel sad but I'm just angry at you. Do you hate me? No, of course not. Why else would I be here? Maybe you should have given that some thought. I'm not leaving you. I just wish you'd worked as hard to reach me when I was alive. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh god, oh god. So yeah, bad things are happening at this point. Everything's just so wrong and dysfunctional. Oh, these are cigarettes. I thought they were candles from up there. Holy shit. Oh, we're heading down to some water. There's a chicken in the microwave. That's pulsating. That thing is pulsating. Okay, then. Right. Oh, goody. What is this? That's not a chicken. Oh, God. That's like a representation of what Oh, it's like representation of the chemotherapy, like the radiation. And it's taking a toll on her heart by the looks of it. Bags aren't here, so... Anybody home? Tip jar's empty. Tip jar, I mean. Uh, savings jar's empty. All our shells are still here. Notes. There are pictures over there. That's weird. Her purse is still here. Food shopping back in 20. Hmm. Something's definitely wrong now. Oh shit. Oh no. Aaron? No. Leaf. Oh, goodness. Sorry, this opera music's kind of hitting me. But this one's got a creepy air to it. Oh, God. The imagery in this game is stunning. I must give it that. I mean, goodness. Floating out in the middle of the ether is an iceberg with our beloved standing atop. Surrounded by flowers. Erin, is that lies. you? It's over, Olivia. 
No, Erin. I, I did it. I'm here. What were you planning on doing once you found me? I'm dead. Then, then this was all for nothing? No. This is your chance to say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. I want to start over. We don't get that choice. Look, I, I was a ship partner when it came down to it. I was afraid of the pain. I shut you out and ran away. You deserve so much better. But I always loved you. I want- It's okay, Olivia. You don't have to feel guilty forever. Erin. Well, at least Erin's at peace. Why are we is a question. And well, that's the end of it. Sarah and Walker. Hmm. Let's just check if there's anything else to look at while we're here. No, I don't think so. Okie dokie. We're moving out again. So then, yeah. Damn. Very, very emotionally charged game, as you can obviously tell. Whew. So yeah, not much else you can say about that, like, as a game, looked great and everything like that, so, yeah. Thanks, thanks for playing. Yeah. Now thank you developer for making this game, because this is truly a passion project and it was very, very brave of you to make this kind of game. Definitely. And it stopped, okay. So that was Looking Back, a very emotionally charged game. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to play it for yourself. And uh, yeah, I suppose there's not much more you can say about that. The answer is a terrible thing and we, and hopefully someday we'll be able to do much more to stop it, but yeah. Until then, thank you kindly for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.